Hi guys, Daniel here from Link My Books. Just a quick video to update you on all things Brexit within Link My Books. So with Brexit going through on the 31st of December last year, we've made some pretty substantial changes to some of the internal systems that help you to automate your Amazon accounting with Link My Books. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to walk you through the new uh, wizard that you're going to need to go back through, which you've done when you first set up the account. But with the changes that we've made, we need you to basically just go back through and confirm your pre-Brexit and post-Brexit tax rates. Don't worry, we've done a lot of the hard work for you, so it shouldn't take you more than a couple of minutes. Next time you log into your account, you should be automatically redirected to this page anyway. But if not, just a quick uh, one here. So you would go into the Account and Taxes menu and then into Account and Taxes Wizard. Um, now, before we go any further, I just want to show you as well, there is a help document to walk you through this. So you don't have to necessarily keep up with the video. This one is related to the tax jurisdiction grouping wizard. This is for customers who are with us on an Amazon account on the tax jurisdiction method. You can tell that by checking this in your settlement settings, which is all described in the help article. So before you do any of what I'm about to show you in the video, have a good read through the help article. It talks you through step by step. It also talks you through the reasoning as to why we've made these changes to do with the two new rules that came into place for UK VAT. So have a look at those, discuss them with your accountant, and then come in to link my books and make these changes. So the first thing is you're gonna be presented with this page. Um, now I've got the default link my books accounts. You might have already chosen some presets. So you can just basically click next at this point. The second step is to choose where you hold VAT registrations in the EU. Um, if you hold any EU VAT registrations, tick them on this bit. If you don't hold any and you only hold a UK VAT registration, then tick here. And if you don't hold any VAT registrations at all, including not the UK, then tick here. Um, for the purposes of this, I'm going to say that I hold a German and French VAT registration. Um, so we'll click next. Now you're gonna land on the page that's gonna look a little bit different to the first time you visited. So previously you would have seen these six groups, the UK tax jurisdiction sales, EU, zero rated, sales exported outside the EU. Um, now we've added this pre-Brexit um, suffix to it um, to basically show you that it's only now gonna be selected for sales that went through and had a tax calculation date of before the 31st, no, before the 1st of January. Um, these are the three new groups. So you're gonna have sales that are shipped to the UK where the seller is responsible for VAT, sales that are shipped to the UK where the marketplace is responsible for VAT, and sales that are shipped outside the UK. So have a read of the article and it explains why we've got these three groups. Now we've pre-filled some tax rates here based on our internal um, investigations of the HMRC documentation but please 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 check these with your accountant remembering that we are not your tax advisor or accountant and we can't be held liable for you making the wrong decisions for your business so please check them with your accountant what I would probably suggest is just taking a quick screenshot of this page sending it to your accountant and say does this look right and if they've got any questions they can get in touch with us directly um, and we can discuss it with them now once you're happy with that click confirm tax rates tick to say that you have checked them with your accountant and then say continue and that's going to then save them and that's it now all your data that's post brexit so 31st no 1st of january and onwards will have the post brexit groups applied and the post brexit tax groups applied and the stuff before that will have the stuff the, the previous groups applied so if you have any questions on this oh the joys of working at home, eh? You get interrupted by the dog. Do apologize about that. Well saying, if you've got any questions about this, please feel free to get in touch with us. Um, it's probably best to direct your questions straight to me since I've done the most research on this within the company. So my email is dan at linkmybooks.com. Um, send your questions there and I'm more than happy to help you out. And as I say, also speak to your accountant if needed. Um, hopefully that's nice and easy for you to do and it means that we were very quick to react on the Brexit stuff as usual. Um, wishing you uh, 2021 full of prosperity for your business. Thanks, guys. See you later.